All right, well, welcome to Battery Powered Bricks. Today we're going to be looking at circuit cubes. Um, this is something that's kind of new to me, but after looking online and seeing videos of some LEGO narrow gauge trains powered by this, it made me very interested. <laughs> and there's some really great stuff out there, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to some of those videos. Um, and what enables that is just look how small the footprint is here. You know, this is a 4x4 four four stud. Um, brick here and that, that's your bluetooth controller and then you've got three motors in this set They're, they have different sets with different um parts uh this was about 60 dollars on amazon and uh full disclosure this is not a sponsored video i've never done any kind of sponsorships this is just something i bought and i'm going to be checking out for the first time um, i did do a little bit of research on the company and found some interviews with the owner and i really liked them because I'm, I'm a huge fan of educational products especially ones that are fun and engaging and hands-on to learn valuable skills. So I think this is going to be a ton of fun. So let's get it opened up and uh, see what all's inside. There's all the pieces that come in it, just uh, in a single bag. <laughs> so we don't have uh, the numbered bags that we're used to with Lego. All right, get that out of the way. There we go. So there's our third motor. A little bit reminiscent of the micro motor, but not really. More like a, a CATA micro motor, but because look, look how tiny this guy is. This isn't just a controller. This is rechargeable. This is a battery. So that's very cool. Um, these posts here are for backwards compatibility, I believe, with other products that they have where you actually connect the wires uh, between like lights and things like that. And this one uh, will be using these two pin connectors here and connecting uh, into the motors. And it looks like there's one on each side. I don't know if these can be daisy chained or anything like that, but we'll find out. And we've got our nice booklet here. That's cool too. Uh, I you know half expect anything nowadays to be like go online to see what you're supposed to do or you know. Uh, but this has a physical book you can hold in your hand and read through. So this is where we meet the cubes and our little uh, Bluetooth controller. All that kind of stuff and then uh, yeah so this is the app we're gonna have to download um, yeah very I mean, detailed uh, instructions for, for getting set up and everything this is done really well um, this isn't like the cheap Lego compatible stuff uh, you know you get from China and there's no instructions no anything um, this is a whole nother ball game. Um, so there's our building instructions, which look fine. You know, they've, they've got uh, call outs for what pieces you need uh, as you're building. And it looks like there's multiple builds here. So I think what I'll do, it's just, it's a bit much to try to do to show the builds of all these. Um, but I'll go through and build them and then show them off. Like I said, I think these motors are definitely going to come in handy because I would like to make some, some narrow gauge <laughs> Lego trains and things like that. And to be able to, to power it with just this footprint, um, that's something that wasn't really possible before having this option. So I'm going to get the app installed on my phone. I'm going to get this guy charging, um, and then I'll start working on the builds and when I complete each of them I will uh, show them off okay so I've got the first build built and it is this cute little guy it was uh, pretty fun to build and um, you know I started noticing some things about the set so first off um, just in the instructions I noticed as you get further along in the build these pictures get kind of small and it gets a little harder to see what pieces you're adding on um, we'll see how the other builds compare to that. Um, and they do give you a little diagram here of the polarity of the wires and the, which color 
because uh, there's two different links um, to connect them properly to the motors. And that is important to have the polarity correct so that your controls aren't reversed. And I actually messed up <laughs> this connection here. I had backwards. Uh, I'm not sure how because I'm, I'm sitting there triple checking against this as I'm plugging them in. And I goofed up and that's why I had an issue there. So let's go ahead. We've got the app here. So let's go to controls. Nope, not gamepad. Um, there's, you know, you've got a few different options here. I'm just going to go to tank. Um, so we do need to turn this on. And um, I accidentally left this on all night last night. <laughs> so I had to charge it again. But you've got, you've got three different settings here. You've got the Bluetooth symbol, maybe kind of hard to see off and then on. So if we flip it to on, it's just going to run everything. Well, it's supposed to. All right, not sure what happened there. Uh, it just runs all the motors. I'm not sure why it keeps shutting off. That doesn't, I don't think it did that last night. All right, so now we're on Bluetooth. Uh, device connected so it looks like that's connected yeah okay so this middle one it's gonna control uh, I don't know what that is a radar dish or I know that's the radar dish so I guess that's its its head um, <laughs> just kind of spinning around uh, but you know it's okay and then you've got your tank controls here so we've got a and C are the that's where the motors are connected on the hub so we're able to just kind of drive it around So yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, something I didn't, I don't understand yet is you've got this option for external and you're supposed to be able to use an Xbox or a PS4 or, you know, controller. Um, so, uh, you know, I brought my PS4 controller and uh, connected it via Bluetooth to the phone. Maybe that was an issue, but it just doesn't see it. It doesn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Um, all the examples I've seen online use an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone to test that, so I'm not sure what that means. Um, but you know, for now, I can just use the, the tank controls here and it drives around pretty good. So this is a build that uses the wheels. It comes with four wheels and you do have to take the wheel and gear off to get to your USB <laughs> plug there. Ask me how I know that. Um, and the only complaint I've had so far with the Lego compatible pieces, um, cause of course these are not actual Lego. There's no Lego logo. This is just third party clone bricks. Um, is this piece <laughs> fairly important? Cause every time I pick this up, this falls off, but that's what the piece looks like on the underside. It's just smooth and it doesn't have. The circle on the inside that you would normally have I'll put one on the screen of the official Lego piece that is like this I'm not sure what that piece is called um, but yeah so that makes it a, a real pain in the butt because every time you pick it up this is just gonna fall off the only other thing I noticed the gears were a little tight in here um, you know the motors kind of moved up just the slightest bit to make it mesh with the motors and it's it's a little tight but it seems to be fine and it drives around just fine and it was a ton of fun so i'm cool with that so now i'm going to take this apart and we'll get started on the next build okay and we finished our second build so for this one we have a uh it's a space rover so it's a space forklift um pretty simple build a couple things i noticed these motors once you get an axle into the motor it is very difficult to get them out like these um luckily these two length axles didn't need to come out so i just kept them there for the last from the last build <laughs> and um i'll show you what i mean if i push this down a little bit this is how tight these gears mesh like it won't even really go in there unless you pull you really got to push to get it in there but and once it goes in there, hopefully that doesn't wear out the, uh, the motors in there. And it looks like the fork does go a little bit low uh, when it's at the bottom. And I'll show you when, when you're lifting this, 
it's pretty quick. Um, so it's going to be hard not to keep it on the floor <laughs> like that. Because it takes... Come on. It takes some torque. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough. Um, well, I got a little better that time. <laughs> um, uh, this is... This actually is Lego. This is a, a pallet from uh, one of their forklift sets. So we're going to try to pick it up and see how it works out. Um, I really don't have all four reels on the ground, but don't tell OSHA. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay, let's set it back down. Got it. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, just perfect. That was great. Um, and another thing, when I tried to reconnect the app after getting it built, I had some issues, and I'm not really sure what I did wrong. I kept having to go to, you've got the Bluetooth symbol up here, and then um, it was disconnected, even though uh, in the settings here I've got it set to auto-connect. Um, I was just confused. I had to connect it about two or three times. And then eventually it started working again. Um, so I'm not sure um, if I was doing something wrong. Um, I don't really know. Oh, come on. Yep. Yep. Sweet. Um, and I do believe there are other control options for this. I haven't really tested them that much. So you've got this gamepad thing here. I don't know how customizable this is. Oop. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> we melted down the core on that one. Um, so our motor completely came attached, detached. Uh, well, we were about done with this build anyways. Um, yeah, something like that. So, you know, not the most robust uh, forklift ever. But again, if, if I can figure out a better way to control it, I'd really like to get the, the PS4 controller working um, and see if that's any better because I'm if you've watched my channel for any length of time I'm not a fan of touch controls like this it just it just drives me nuts I'd much rather have joysticks or, or something else and this one wasn't as bad I was gonna say with the first model um, I forgot to mention these cable connections are done at the very end and all your connections are down in that little hole in there so it's probably easier to skip ahead from, well, pretty far back from like there and go ahead and get your cables in. So that's something you can look forward in the build and see how it's going to be by the end. This one, this one wasn't bad at all. It was just, you know, very simple there. So that, it wasn't an issue with this one, but all right, now let's get, uh, get on into the next one. All right, so now we have our final build. We've got this little, I like these tank treads. Um, I guess it's supposed to be kind of a tractor and trailer. Um, so some things I want to point out. First off, these these guys, they suck. <laughs> um, you know, nothing like the Lego ones. I would have just omitted these uh, in the build, you know. Um, this piece came back again, um, which at least it's not doing anything important there, but you can, you can see it just pops off so easily. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect them. These treads, I would actually put these on earlier in the build. And if you can see, it actually puts a good bit of tension on these. They're a little tight. Um, and the build fell apart in my hands trying to put these on. And even afterwards, um, you've got one ha little half not even a half pin that sticks into the motor here and that's what's holds it on this side and it's held by two studs over here and basically it just rotates off <laughs> that easy um, so I'm gonna run it a little bit and see how it does um, but I've got an idea to fix that um, so let's see how it starts up this time so I've got the app open already 
Um, which way is Bluetooth? To the left. So I'll kick that on. Uh, blue light is flashing. Okay, so let's go through the manual process. See, um, you know, it's disconnected, but what's the point of having an auto connect if it doesn't connect? I may have missed it, but I didn't see it say it was connected. See, yeah, this is um, it's the problem I had last time. Let's try to disconnect. Device connected. Um, so maybe we're good. No, wrong, wrong button. Um, I haven't looked through here yet. Um, I guess this is some other stuff. So space rovers. Um, I guess it's not loading. Come on. These are the, the three builds uh, that were in the book. So we got build. Um, yeah, these don't look any different when you go through the menu this way. That's backwards. Um, did I do something wrong? I don't think so. Um, okay, so let's go through controls, tank. Okay, so I'm going to swap these to make it correct for me. <laughs> okay, that quick. We've already jacked up the tread. So, what I'm going to do is we've got these pieces. And one of them's just kind of wasted right here. Um, this is just kind of a decorative piece. So, I'm going to... Alright, you see what I mean? This, this was definitely... It looks like the coolest build. Um, but it's definitely got some issues. something like that not too worried about it because I just want that other piece okay so I'm gonna snap it in there is it in there it didn't feel like it something like that now we have two of these pieces and I'm gonna put them right here just to see if that helps. Um, I don't want to use anything thicker just to, to save the ground clearance on it. Um, Cause yeah, that didn't feel like a good connection when I first built it. Um, like I said, this front section just, <laughs> just falls off. Okay. Go backwards. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> I think the forklift was probably going to be my favorite in this. Um, this is... It's a little weird to... Oh, oh <laughs> I almost drove it off the desk here. It's a little weird with the, with the trailer. Um, I like the idea of it. Um, the execution maybe could leave a bit to be desired. Um, and, you know, we still have, uh, well, that's not with it, but we still have some extra pieces here. So we could uh, add an extra motor or build something to go into the trailer, things like that. I mean, that's the whole idea of these types of sets is uh, we can take this all apart and we can do something better. Uh, maybe do a better <laughs> tread implementation. Um, or maybe make one vehicle that has treads and, and tires and, you know, you can do a lot. And, um, you know, this set comes with, it just has a hundred plus pieces. I'm not really sure the exact number, but again, these are all Lego compatible. So you can add to it. Me personally, I keep my kind of clone bricks separate from my Lego, but the actual circuit cube and motors I will use with Lego because Lego doesn't really have an answer to this um, in such a small footprint to be able to have 
like the forklift. You know, Lego has uh, Technic sets that size. They're never going to have a motor, or at least historically, have not had a motor, battery box, and you know, or three motors, <laughs> much less, uh, to do something like that. And that's why I think these are really cool. Um, this build I was a little disappointed with, but the other two I did like, and they, they didn't fall apart quite as bad, except for, well, I guess the motor was popping off of, of that one. So I can pretty much guarantee the, these, at least, uh, the hub and motors will be popping up in the future on the channel. So you can look forward to that. Um, if you have any ideas, what, you know, what, what could be done, um, you know, for a smaller build to be able to have three motors, um, now, one thing is, as far as I know, as of now, you can only connect one of these to a phone at a given time. Um, so that's one limitation if you were trying to use two or three of these and to, you know, have six or nine motors, <laughs> you know, on one build. Um, I don't think there's an option yet. Um, it has been brought up in the uh, Brick Controller forum post on Eurobricks. Um, that it's a possibility uh, to get this implemented and that would be incredible to be able to use you know powered up and boo is and then an s brick and one of these <laughs> you know for some smaller little functions at the end of an arm or something you know there's just so many possibilities i think it's really cool so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions maybe things i didn't bring up here uh, feel free to post them um, if you have any circuit bricks let me know what you think of them that's it for today thanks for watching remember to play well